Hi Dan here, hope you're doing well. I'm going to show you how to play I Wish by Stevie Wonder. There's three sections and it starts off with this really incredible bass line. This is how I play it. If you at any point find a way that you uh, think might be easier, go for it. That's the first bit. I'll show you the key in a minute after I show you the bass lines and how you can do some fills around it. So I'm playing E flat first finger on the D string. I'm doing all this one finger per fret, so I've got G flat, A flat after that. And then B flat, A flat, first fret, A string, back to the fourth fret, E string. Then a little jump, little shift, chromatically from the third fret to the sixth fret of the A string, so there's the shift. There's another little shift here, this is how I'm playing it anyway. First finger on the fourth fret. So fourth fret, sixth fret, eighth fret. G flat, A flat, B flat. And at the end there, it's that same chromatic run up. And then when you get to that E flat, that's where you're gonna play it instead of at the first fret. You can actually start off that way. And then you've got a bit of a jump down there. This is a really great bass line to practice your, your shifting around. You can play it in one position if you want. This is just something, this is a tune I've played for years and years and years, and this is just the way I've played it. One thing I sometimes used to do and sometimes do, which is technically a bit wrong. A little sh slide, a little shift slide. And sometimes, you know, put a bit bit of a uh, sort of ghost note action in there. Technically, that's not what Nate Watts was doing. And I really don't mind if I'm playing this in a gig, no one's going to care if you add your own little sort of moments into it. So that's how I play it. But yeah, if you want to put all of this stuff, work it out. So you're in one position, do that. Then we've got this next section. There's a way I I memorize this section, and it's a bit odd. Um, I'm really big into my modes. I, I love them, and this is a that's a Lydian dominant. Okay, and because I know that. I, I just never get this section wrong because I know it just outlines the notes of that mode. Let me just show you. So I'll, I'll say fret numbers. So we've got um, six and eight on the E string. This is B flat and C. Then we've got five, seven and eight on the A string. And then five, six and eight on the D string. This is a really beautiful sound. And the bass line goes. So, B flat, C, D, and then, sorry, B flat, C, D, B flat, and then C, D, E, E, F, E, F, G, A flat, G, A flat, B. I'm playing it all one finger per fret there. And then more or less the same thing. Except it does that chromatic thing again, so. And then from the F, F, G, A flat, A, B flat. I think he does a slide there, does he? One of those, and there seems to be a bit of sort of overdrive going on there as well. We're back into this. Mm -hmm. 
So we start off on the E flat on the sixth fret of the A string. Go down to the fourth fret. That's how I used to play it, but I think the better way of playing it probably this. So we've got G flat, A flat, B flat, so that's fourth fret, sixth fret of the D string, third fret of the G string. So slowly. Then a little shift up to fret six and eight. And a bit of a shift three strings down to the E on the sixth fret, the B flat. And then another shift back. Again, if you find a way of doing this that works for you, go for it. But this is how I'm doing it. D flat, G flat, E flat. Four frets four on the A string and the D string. And then six on the A string. So. We've got a little pull off from fret six to five on the G. Slide using my third finger from the fourth to the sixth fret of the D. Using, using the third finger helps in that situation because then the first finger lines up exactly to play the fourth fret on that same D string. Keeping my thumb in the same position at the back of the neck. And then you've got a little bend. You've got to get right underneath the string. I'm using my thumb over the top just to really squeeze. You do a bend and then you release at the top. It's only a fret, one fret, sort of half step bend. Then you're back to that uh, G flat. So. Back to there. Now this little section here, it really shows you what key you're in. The first note in a song doesn't always tell you what key you're in, but in this case, it does. E flat. You can just search around for the key. I'm, it's minor. Now that note, the notes in this section really give the clue. It's E flat Dorian. Let me show you how to play that. One way of playing that. Fret six to eight on the A. Four, six, eight on the D. Five, six, eight on the G. So that's the root note. You're going down to the minor third here. And these are all notes of the scale. That little chromatic bit. That's the major sixth and it goes chromatically back up. But if you just play around a little bit with the notes. Got the flavour of the of the song based in that in that Dorian mode. It's used a lot in funk and it sounds it just sounds really um, right for this. The difference between natural minor and, major, and Dorian is just the sixth. It's a major sixth instead of a minor, and that makes all the difference. That's um, natural minor. If you're playing this live, you probably want to stick to the parts. They're so iconic. But... That's obviously too much, but just to just to get your ear around the sound here. E flat Dorian goes hand in hand with E flat minor pentatonics. It's a minor scale. And for me, when I'm playing this live or any tune, I, I like to work out what obviously what key we're in. And then you can you can sort of fall back on shapes that you know to make it easier to learn the bass line. <laughs> Now these are all shapes that I'm familiar with because the minor pentatonic scales are very common, common scale, so I know it. And I know that bit Lydian dominant. Don't worry if you don't really know what that means. Just I, I, I happen to know that mode, and I know that that section maps out to that, so it makes it really easy for me to learn that section. Um, but all of these notes conform to the shapes and the patterns of E-flat Dorian and E-flat minor pentatonic. And really, probably 80 to 90% of bass lines I ever play, I can fit it to, to either a major scale or a natural minor scale. Dorian, Mixolydian, these sort of common modes. 
if you're playing a lot of jazz and progressive rock music, then maybe you're going to be calling on on some other another set of modes. But for so much of music, it's going to be it's going to be that. So thanks very much for watching. If you've got any questions about the technique or what I was talking about, the keys or anything like that, or indeed any suggestions of other songs that'd be cool for me to break down, then leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, if you could subscribe to the channel, that'd be amazing. And I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.